Hey, welcome back everybody. Today, we're gonna talk truth about the Legends Pinball, and in particular, 10 ways that At Games missed when it came to its design and production. It's not a hit piece, there's no hate involved. Lord knows I love this thing and play it every day, but it's not perfect, and I'm gonna show you 10 reasons why. Right here, right now, on Digital Victory. Number 10, we'll start with the art design. The side cabinet artwork is kind of a mishmash of logos from the 22 included Gottlieb tables. And it pushes them all together and there's no real coherence. And as a result, it ends up doing a disservice to all of them. Also the logos on the machine, Legends Pinball. We know it's Legends Pinball. You don't have to smash it in our face. In particular, the top marquee lit up way too bright and it reflects on the actual play field while you play it. Wasn't very well thought out. Number nine is the included tables that came with it. The 22 Gottlieb tables are kind of lacking. I don't even think those are the best Gottlieb tables, let alone all the other brands that they ignored. I rarely play them, to be honest with you. I rarely play them. And when I do, there's really only like three or four that I play. The rest I've looked at once and have never gone backward. Not sure why, I'm not sure what went into the selection process, but it's pretty lacking. Number eight, poor quality tables. I already mentioned that I don't really care for the selections that they picked, but even the ones that they picked, the creation of them is done poorly. The quality of the artwork, the physics is just not very good, especially compared to their VPX counterparts it's just not that good and it doesn't seem like they put much effort into it. Number seven, the overly complicated process when purchasing new tables. I complain about the tables they included. To their credit, they did have a lot of new tables that you can purchase afterwards that are frankly much higher quality, but the process to buy them is a real pain in the butt. I've literally purchased every table they've ever come out with and every time it's been an adventure, it's not gone smoothly a single time. You know, digital lockers and emailing codes, and codes go into the junk email, people can't find them, some people claim they never got them. I don't understand why there's not just a menu where you just move over to the table you want and purchase it there. It's not a very good process and I think they could have done better. So we've talked about the poor table selections and the poor quality of them. Number six, we got poor licensing decisions. The fact that they licensed the Gottlieb tables is cool, but why did they stop there? Where's the Bally? Where's the Williams? Where's the Data East? Any of those selections would have brought a ton of great new tables they could have added. I'm not really sure why. I'm sure they had the reasons. Part of me thinks that the actual unit itself wasn't powerful enough to run the more sophisticated tables. Which brings us to number five. The underpowered processor. The Legends Pinball is just not powerful enough to run those other tables, other systems, so we're stuck with the crappy ones. I wonder about that though, because Magic Pixel on their releases for the Zachariah Deluxe tables, those are amazing. They have multiple levels and full video DMDs. So is it powerful enough or not? I'm not really sure, but currently it seems like we're trying to play Gran Turismo 7 on a PS2 and it ain't working. Number four is OTG connection inconsistencies. The back glass that did not have the ability to work when you're plugged into the PC via OTG, they had to come out with a separate VIBS board later to make that happen. That makes no sense to me. There's also weird inconsistencies with connecting your PC to it with that USB. I know in my case, I tried several USB cords and they just wouldn't work. I ended up having to go to a very short USB, 18 inches, in order to make proper connection. And that's why you see my PC so close to it. If someone's not able to put their PC close, they could be in trouble. I don't understand why that's the case. Every time I've used anything with the USB, it always just kind of plugs in and works. Why they had particular issues, I don't know. But it would have been nice to not have to deal with that at all. It just kind of seems like they half-assed the OTG connection aspect of it. Which is weird, because to me, that's its greatest strength. And I think a lot of you would agree, 
uh, being able to connect it to your PC and play all those is, is wonderful. So why not make that rock solid? You know, make that a real selling point. For them to not even have the second monitor available at the start, it was just bizarre. On to number three. Number three, proprietary delicate cables and attachments. I'm referring specifically to the ribbon cable in the back. When connecting the back glass using the bibs board, it's got a very delicate ribbon cable that if you turn the wrong way or you accidentally pull a little too hard, you brick it. It's absolutely unacceptable. I can't understand why that would be that delicate and why they couldn't address that earlier on. And that kind of has to do with the last version. Why not just have it work at the start? But the fact that I've seen so many instances of people complaining about they brick their system when trying to connect the bibs board, it just tells me it was very poorly implemented from the start. Number two on the list of at games misses when it comes to the Legends Pinball is the user interface. It's not very good. There's weird inconsistencies. It's difficult to navigate. Trying to type with the big start button is a real pain. The directional pad is not very responsive. Uh, one of the weird things is when you're playing a game and you decide to quit, you go to the quit game menu item, you push the start button. Wait, no, that only works on the Legends pinball table. For instance, you're playing Rescue 911. You're having a blast. It's a good time, but you gotta leave. So you go to quit. Go to quit game. And you press the start button to quit. You press the rewind button to get back to the menu. And just before you leave, you think, I'm gonna take a quick shot of Pinball Champion 2018. We'll play that real quick. All right, pinball champ, you're playing, it's fun, having a good time, ah, but you really do got to leave, so all right, let's go, let's go. Go to quit game, press start, uh, press start, oh, it's not quitting, press rewind, and the game quits. Why is it different from the tables that came with it? I don't know, but that's unacceptable. That's poorly designed and poorly implemented. And the number one things that At Games missed on when designing and manufacturing the Legends Pinball is their customer service. All the stories I've heard and read, it's a nightmare. Whether it's the responsiveness, the difficulty in contacting them, the messed up ticket system, I'm involved, it's not good. As somebody that's worked in the manufacturing industry for pretty much my whole adult working life, we have an old saying, quality, service, price. Pick two. And it looks like Legends Pinball left off the service. So those are my top 10 things that At Games missed on when creating this pinball system. I know that's a lot of negativity and I don't want it to come across as I think this thing stinks and don't ever get it. I love this thing. I play it every day. I recommend it wholeheartedly to anybody interested in a great entryway into virtual pinball. If I had the room, I'd have bought another already. It's, it's that great. All these things are basically nitpicks and if they can address those for the next version of this, you know, whether it's, you know, Legends Pinball Pro or Legends Pinball V2, whatever they call it, if they can address these issues with it, man, this thing could be an incredible piece of hardware. As it is, it's still the best value. I'm familiar with a lot of the other home pinball systems that have come out, and this blows them all away, even with those little nitpicks. So let me know your thoughts on it. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I'm really interested to hear your comments. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it as always, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.